time now for the bronze medal match. The two losing semi-finalists have a chance of redemption and a place on the podium with a win right here. Tough thing to say that you've got an Olympic champion in the lineup, the reigning Olympic champion in the lineup. And you have to say he's the underdog here. He probably is, yeah, but it could go either way. I've probably put my cards on Kim Jae-kyuk, but let's see. Well, a very important match here. You get on the podium with a win go down in the history books as a medalist at the finale of the season with Kim J. Duke to get us underway yeah. in this bronze medal match and uh, no surprise he starts with a 10. Yes. Confident start from Gazos too. Early chance for Kim Jae Duk to capitalise. Was there a little wobble there? Ooh. There was, wasn't Watch there? Out. Just before the release for a 28. So now an opportunity for Gazos to strike an early lead. Yes. And he gets the 29. Provisionally, he's uh, on for two set points, but uh, the Last arrow from uh, Kim was marked for a measure. It was just a little bit of a wobble. Mm. Just before release from uh, Kim. Just wait for confirmation of that uh, score. Let me take a look back. That was the last arrow. I can't wait to see it in the replay, but it has been confirmed as an eight. So Gazos takes a 2 0 lead. And that's the kind of start you need against the Koreans, especially uh, Kim Jae Jiuk <laughs> and Kim Woo Jin here in Tlaxcala. Definitely. You can't leave any doors open. You've got to take every opportunity possible. Second set, and uh, Kim Jae-Juk will get things going. Yes. Really long hold. Yes. Did that in the semi final as well, didn't he? Start to slow down. We start to see that timing get longer. Yes. Ooh. Another long hold from the Takia Archer. He is able to put it into the 10, and that's how long that hold was. You got the final buzzer there. Yes, yes, yes. So three tens and a perfect 30 from Kim J. Duk. Can Gazos match him? 
Oh. Oh. Sure to hold that time. Produces another 29 for Gazos, the Olympic champion. And uh, that means that Kim has drawn level at two set points apiece. Well, perhaps not uh, the one-way traffic we thought this one might be. Oh, I hope this will be a really tight match all the way. Do you fancy now that Kim will just keep hitting the ten ring? I think he probably will. You know, we have seen a couple of mistakes from him, but I mean, both these archers are just such high level. It could go either way, literally, but like I said at the beginning, I think Kim J. Duke has probably got a slight advantage. He's got two gold medals from the Olympics, team and mixed team. Gazos only got one, but it is individual. It was the individual one. <laughs> <laughs> Which one would you prefer? It's hard to say, really, isn't it? <laughs> two gold medals at the Olympics, probably, just about. <laughs> Start of the third set. Kim has drawn level yes. and has found the middle of the target and it looks like he ain't going to miss it anytime soon. Yes. Gazos needs to keep that consistency. Keep the pressure on. A bit of Self-affirmation, and there we go. Talk about curse of the commentator. <laughs> A nine for Kim J. Duke. Let go. This is so long. Oh. <laughs> it's just his style, isn't it? We, we like I say we saw it earlier in earlier matches, but he's got the control to do it, but. It's not how I would choose it. It's probably not how he would choose to do it. It's just trying to get your body to commit, to keep moving. 29 for Kim J. Duk. So opportunity for a Mete Gazos. Two seconds left. He's had oh. to let that one go. And he's got a 29 as well. It doesn't look like it's panic. It looks just <coughs> like he's it just he sort of he, well, he wasn't seesawing as, as you called no. it before. Yeah, he's just static, isn't he? He's, he's just stopped, yeah. stopped and struggling to get moving. But that is, you know, sometimes your brain just struggling to commit, just struggling to keep going. I don't know if he was signaling signaling his. Uh, St string fingers there uh, to his coach but <laughs> he must be working hard they must be burning because Kim J. Jok is shooting quite quickly and that doesn't give him much recovery time either and if he's spending a good 10 to 15 seconds up at full draw for each of those three arrows those fingers are going to get tired oh, in some respects it's lucky that he's not had to shoot 72 arrows in qualification and then go through three or four rounds just to get to this point. Yeah, there's less stress on that qualification though, and generally archers will shoot a bit quicker. Well, there you go, He's conducting the orchestra for the second time here in Slax Carla. Three apiece though. And Kim J. Duk will start set number four. Yeah, that looks like a nine. Yeah, I'd agree, I think it looks probably just out but we'll have to wait for confirmation yes. well, that's better from Gazos <coughs> another nine from the Korean oh, this is a real opportunity isn't it if Gazos can Keep them in the turn now, keep these shots moving. Yes. It's a huge opportunity for Gazos. Well, called another nine there. a little closer yes. to 10 but uh, yes. 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 and now 
Gazos with a chance. A nine. It's yes. going to be enough, but he gets a 10. A perfect 30 from Mete Gazos. And the archer from Turkey, <laughs> surprised by his return to great form, leads five points to three. Este partido por el bronce quiere escuchar ese apoyo a los arqueros. ¿Quién está apoyando a Kim de Dios? So fantastic uh, performance from Mete Gazos. The opportunity presented itself to him. And as uh, we've often said, it's not just about having that opportunity, it's about capitalizing and taking it when it came. And that's exactly what Gazos has done. And the key thing here now as we go into the fifth set is that uh, Kim J. Duk has to shoot first. And Mete Gazos just has to match his opponent. He doesn't need to beat him in this set to take the bronze medal. Just has to level up on points. Three nines, sorry, yeah. two nines and a 10 from Kim in the last set. Starts this one with a 10. Can the Olympic champion hold his nerve? That might have been that opportunity that you just talked about. This has got shoot off written all over it, hasn't it? Oh no, that one's guided oh. away. So the door still remains open for Gazos. Needs a 10 here to level up. Just see those fingers just getting a bit tired, a little bit of twitching. Oh. Pops it into the 10 though. Will this one be decided? in the next two arrows. Kim really needs a 10. But he's got a nine, so here it is. A nine for the win. There is space for the Olympic champion here. He needs to stay calm, cool, collected. Not hold on too long. Guides that one around, gets the nine he needs. It was a nervy way to get through to the bronze medal and the podium. But Mete Gazos has done it here in Tlaxcala. He's got a bronze medal at the Hyundai Archery World Cup Finals. Well, there is confirmation. Gazos with the bronze medal here in Tlaxcala. It wasn't the most convincing victory, but a win to win. I know there's some absolutely fantastic shooting in there from Gazos. 29, 29, 29, 30, 28. I mean, that's excellent, high level. The, the scores, though, paint a slightly <laughs> different picture to the one that you were talking about. A static, yeah. almost full draw. It wasn't... Uh, I mean, the scores are, are what's going to go down on paper and, and everyone will look at that and think, what a brilliant performance. But it wasn't quite as easy as that. Yeah, he really was taking his time on some of those shots, wasn't he? But but he still managed to hold on to it and get them in the 10 when it mattered.